don't tell lies, also meaning you don't gossip. Because gossiping is not always true. You just hear somebody say that, or even if you see something, or you hear something personally, you might not hear it right. Yeah, in their college, they experience that, you know. The first person, you know, in the university, one person say one word, up to the 50, it's a different word. Sometimes you talk even to your wife, your kid, your father, mother, they don't understand you. Yeah? In my practice, I always have to do this. I say something, blah, 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 and then I say, repeat. <laughs> repeat to me what you heard. And sometimes they repeat differently, three times, until I really <laughs> had it. And it's okay, okay, go, I get somebody else. <laughs> really, it's like that. Sometimes you see something, but it's not the same. And uh, many people also told me that uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he married again, and etc., etc. I said, no matter what he did, he, he was a prophet, yeah? Peace be upon him, he did what he has to do. It's maybe it's their karma that made him have to do that. Maybe he has to sacrifice for that. Maybe that's the way he has to go through. That's the price he has to pay. So there's no need, if you believe in the Master, the teaching is good, you have good experience in heaven, then you just follow that Master. Do not let your mind cheat you, do not let your eyes delude you. Do not let your ears confuse you. That's why we don't use the ears to, to meditate. That's why we don't use the eyes to meditate. We don't use anything at all. <laughs> we just contact direct inside. Anything that rely on the outside is perishable, it's changeable. Huh? Some they have, some them don't have. Yeah? Even if you use your mind, what if you are in an unconscious situation where your mind cannot control? And if you use breathing, for example, well, that, that may be helping, but what if you are not breathing anymore in that state? You know, like in coma or something, that people keep you in with the artificial breathing? What then? Who meditate for you? Okay? So only your soul inside meditate, not your body. Therefore, even when you meditate, you see you're gone away from your body, you see your body sitting there, but you go to heaven. It's a, just an example. So who is it that meditating while your soul gone out? It is yourself, your true original self. There are some yogi, they don't even breathe. Yeah, they practice to control their breathing, so they don't even breathe anymore for some time, very, very long time, many weeks or months even, depends on how long he practiced. So if we rely on any external things, uh, bodily help, we don't get anywhere. That's why the Buddha said, if you rely on forms, if you rely on sound, if you rely on uh, visual, visual faculty, for example, huh? then you never get to see the Buddha. What he means is the Buddha nature. Yeah? That's why he even say, I am the finger who point to the moon, but the finger is not the moon. If the Buddha's finger is not the goal, not the real thing, uh, what about us, this, uh, you know, mortal, lowly level body? So we use nothing. That's why. And one of the Zen masters say what? Oh, now I know. It would have been better if I had been blind, deaf, in the beginning. Blind, deaf, and dumb even, in the beginning, that's what he said. Because these things don't help us with anything, they just make more trouble. See a nice woman, oh, want to, <laughs> want to see more, yeah? And we're more than seeing. And then see a nice, good-looking man, oh, look at that muscle, my God. <laughs> yeah, for example, huh? And see beautiful things, one this, one that. Nice house, nice car. How long will you keep them? Hmm? 
everything is temporary. Yeah, we can enjoy them, use them, okay, just like at home you watch some movies, yeah, or you play toys with the children, because they are toys, they're children. When you play with the children, you don't say, eh, I'm adult, I don't play with this, these are just toys, plastic. No, you don't do that, of course. So the saints and sages, they came to us in this world, they play with us. Yeah, they do what we do, so that we can feel closer intimate relationship, and not feeling like, oh, he's up there, you know, and I'm just here, I'm sinful, I'm lowly, I'm just a mortal, ignorant, I can never be liberated, I can never be anything more than just my ignorant self. So any master who came from higher level, they hide everything, they just look like ordinary people, they even get married, have children, and whatever they do, they got a job, yeah? They make money to take care of their family, everybody, the same. But they are not the same. Therefore, I told the Muslim, don't criticize the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Do not criticize anything, because you don't understand anything. <laughs> not yet. If you do understand, you wouldn't have asked that question to begin with, for example, like that. In some of the teaching of some masters, uh, one master say to the Muslim, if your master, your master is God, your master is number one, if you, you know your master is really a real master, then even he, if he tell you to dip your prayer mat in the wine, you do it. For the Muslim, the prayer mat is very holy, sacred, personal, and wine is a no-no. Ah. So he said to such extreme to advise the doubtful disciple of Muslim that if your master tell you to dip your prayer mat in the wine, you do it. This is the advice for absolute faith and devotion. Only if we have that absolute faith and devotion, then we can really understand the master and we reach higher levels, return to our glorious, great, original self. Otherwise, we are so deluded here. We think